This demo highlights one of our newest BigQuery features, time unit partitioning. This feature allows you to organize time-based data using flexible units of time, ranging from an hour to a year. To see this feature in action, let's work with the BigQuery public data set on Wikipedia page views. This data set contains a timestamp column called date hour. If you are familiar with creating date-time partition tables, you know that you can use date-time trunk and specify a date-time column and a parameter for the time component, in this case, hour. For this data set, the query editor warns us that the data set does not contain a column called date time. Recall from our review of the data set that it actually contains a timestamp column called date hour. To modify this query for time unit partitioning, you can simply replace date time trunk with timestamp trunk and date time column with the date hour column. With the time component set as hour, the query will create an hourly partition table. You can easily create a daily partition table by replacing hour with day. Last, you can create a daily partition table with clustering by adding cluster by date hour. Using these three versions of the query, I have created the tables listed under a data set called time unit. Taking a look at the details of the hourly partition table, you can see that it contains just over 12.7 billion records and that it is partitioned by hour on the date hour column. The details for the daily partition table show the same number of rows and that it is partitioned by day on the date hour column. The daily partition table with clustering shows similar information, the difference being that it is also clustered on the date hour column. To compare the performance of these time unit partitioning schemes, let's run a few queries to select some hourly data. First, let's select some data for a specific one and a half hour window from the daily partition table. Note that the estimated amount of data processed for this query is 6 gigs. While the query may not take long to run, selecting all data for that one and a half hour window from the daily partition table ended up processing the entire 6 gigs of data. Let's run the same selection on the hourly partition table to see the difference in performance. On the hourly partition table, the same query is estimated to process noticeably less data, about 575 megs of data. Running the query shows that indeed it only processed about 575 megs of data. For comparison, let's run the same query on the daily partition table with clustering. Notice that the estimated amount of data processed for this query is again 6 gigs. Running this query highlights that the hourly partition table performs similarly to a daily partition table with clustering, but with a more straightforward implementation. For example, recall that the estimate of data processed for the daily partition table was 6 gigs, the same as the estimate for the daily partition table with clustering, even though the query on the clustered table ended up processing less data. Limiting the selection further to a 45 minute window shows the true benefit of hourly partitioning. The query on the daily partition table still has to process six gigs of data. However, the hourly partition table only has to process 281 megs of data. Running the query shows that it indeed only processed 281 megs. Now that you have seen time unit partitioning in action, we hope that you are excited to try it out on your time-based data. Be sure to check out the BigQuery docs to learn more and keep an eye out for the release notes to stay informed about other exciting features headed your way.